Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is week three of the Running on MT Beginners Pokemon League match. I didn't have a video for week two because my opponent was Pinda and he just never responded. We think that he's not going to respond to anyone else and he's just going to be out of the league. I mean, he hasn't responded in a while. It's been well over a week and the match he has this week so far, he hasn't responded. But this week I play against Shima and uh, I think he's on a pretty, I think he's doing pretty good. I think he's uh, even or positive in his win-loss ratio right now. So let's see if I can get an actual win in this week besides a win via forfeit. Shima found us rocking the Grookey pitcher. I like his style. I'll decide myself if I may. Please select the battle rules. I will select the battle rules. You guys, we're rocking the same classic team. I did take Trick Room off my Wismacot and put U-Turn in there. I do have these other two teams that I've been messing with on the side, but not feeling too comfortable with them yet. So today for this match, we're going to get comfortable with this team. And then I will take um, this next week before my next match to warm up with the other team. And also, as I'm recording this, Tig, a.k.a. Cody, finally got equipment so he can start his own YouTube channel. And I'm going to be helping him set all that up tonight. And him and I got a couple series ideas in the plans and our minds that are going to be happening for show. And uh, when he does get that channel updated and we get these series going, it's going to be pretty exciting. So, I know Shima. Wait, wait a second. Oh, he said, are you Dalton? LOL. Yes. Dalton. Sorry, I didn't have my... He was messaging me on Discord. I don't know if you guys picked it up in the recordings. I don't have my headphones in today. Um, or on today. They're right here. Those are some bulky boys. I don't really want to rock them. I feel like I don't really need the sound. So, all right. Ooh, the Obstagoon. Oh, Aegislash. I don't like Aegislash at all. And the Grim Snarl. Ooh, I don't like. I don't like the team I'm facing. I'm gonna lead with Wismacott for the Tailwind, and Rotom Heat for the Max Flare if he leads Darmanitan. Oh, Obstagoon. What can Obstagoon do? I know he's pretty good because Cody used him for a little bit. And who else did? I think Scythe did. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see here. Guys, as you can tell, I'm still very bad at trying to pick my team. I feel like i got to bring Dragapult. So at least I'll have the Dragon super effective in this against Duraludon and then the Ghost against Aegislash. Right? I feel like Dragapult's going to do good here. And one more Mon. Gastrodon's always good, but... It's ga See, here's one thing I know about Gastrodon is he does really well against Duraludon. I feel like I should bring my Gastro. I'm going to bring Gastro because he's just a beefy boy. And he's a good, like, backup plan. Also, I just don't want to bring Grimmsnarl. I've been having a hard time... Because I usually like to lead Wismacott and Grimmsnarl together, but I've been having like a realization that since they're both more of supporty types, I kind of been losing a lot to them, like with them, because they just don't do enough damage. So, oh, he's all decked out here. Braviary and Grimmsnarl to lead. So I just really don't want to get Thunder Wave, and he's gonna tailwind with that Braviary for show. I just really don't want to get Thunder Waved. So we'll obviously Tailwind. Actually, you know, if he Thunder Waves, either one of my mods, it doesn't matter. So he's going to set up something. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trick the Braviary and take either his Life Orb or his Leftovers. Oh, he Dynamaxes right away. You know, I'm not too mad about this. Because do I need either of these mods right now? Tailwind's going to go up no matter what. And I feel like Rotom Heat can, is going to be able to take any hit that he has coming towards me, right? Right? I think I'm good here. Alright, so my tailwind goes up, so I go first. I'm still going to get my trick off. Okay, Grimstone light screen. Well played, so he can survive uh, overheat. I'll take the trick. Let's see, like, what you had. Choice Scarf. And I got a Citrus Berry. Okay, so now he's locked in. Wisdom Cod lives that because it's... Focus Ash. Okay, this is a good, good, good turn here. 
And now I took his berry away from him. So when he tries to brave bird me, your speed rose, though. I do not like that, of course. Now, do we... I don't want to sack Wizvacot. If I would have had a Corviknight, I would have sacked him. But instead, we're going to U-turn on the Grimmsnarl. And then we are going to... Even though he has Light Screen up, I feel like I should just still Dynamax here. Because this Braviary can't touch me, and I can I can hurt him pretty well, huh? I feel like this is the play. I feel like this is a good play here. I just want my Wesmercott to live. He's my only Tailwind setter. I know a lot of people run uh, Tailwind on their Corviknight as well as like a backup. But I like my Corviknight set with Bulk Up, Iron Head, Brave Bird, and Roost. So let's see here. Does he go first now because of his Max Airstream? That doesn't mean my Wesmercott. Wesmercott's a fast boy. So he's just going to set up a Reflect here, I'm sure. But I'll set up, I'll get Gastrodon out there, because his Braviary can't touch me, right? And I can have Ice Beam on Braviary. So we're Dynamaxing early on. I still have Speed him. Hopefully this does chunky damage. Ooh, not chunky enough, man. That light screen is just so good. Let's see what he does here. Is he going to do a ma another Max Airstream? No. Max Knuckle. And that Rotom slot. This is so good for me. Although his attack did just get raised. I do not like that. Now here's the thing though. Is he going to max guard if I double up into him? Wow, dude. Poor Gastro. Gastro took a beating right there. I feel like I need to recover now. I'm just going to recover. Oh, that hurt, dude. The max line is going to do more damage now. I would have doubled up to the Braviary, but I think he's going to max guard, which he did. Because he knows that if I double up him to him, he goes down. So I did find this round. Play roughs the Rotom. Okay, good. So Gastro lives and I get a recover off. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I knew that he was going to predict that, and I knew he was going to max guard, which is why I don't want to double up into him. Oh, yeah. Big beastie boy plays here. So now... You know what, if I would have known, obviously, like, I, what does he have? Does he have plus, I just don't know if my Ice Beam can take him out by itself, or do I have to double up into that slot? What I'll do is I'll double up into that slot, because if my Max Lightning just knocks him out right here, then the other slot will go to Grim Snarl, and if he switches into anything, then I'll hit it pretty good. I kind of feel like Max Lightning should just kill here, though. I have Electric Terrain, and he's not Dynamax anymore. Yeah. So that was good. Play rough. That's going to hurt, of course, but live. And now I'm going to Ice Beam and get a Freeze so I can recover. Give me a Freeze. No Freeze. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Because he's going to play rough me again, which means I can't switch. Ooh, I can't switch to Dragapult because he's going to play rough the Gashadon slot. Oh, poor Rotom. Just a tiny, tiny boy. So what does Obstagoon do? He's going to have Flame Orb, right? He's got to go for the recover here. Although, I just feel like... Sacking the Wisdom Cat's not going to do anything. He'll just play rough me next round. I feel like Gastro's going down right here. Unless, I mean, I, I do have... The play rough has a chance of missing. Of course, highly unlikely. But the chance is there. And then I can just overheat in the Obstagoon. Wait, is that a shiny? Oh, no, it wasn't shiny. Plus, Obstagoon... I was thinking it looked shiny because it was like a goldish-looking Obstagoon. But it does not... Shut... Oh, dude, knockoff. Why does that hurt so much? Oh, he has a life orb, huh? Please miss. No! What a terrible round for me. Oh, yikes, dude. 
Absolutely a yikes. Oh crap. Now to see so he doesn't have so he has life form, not flame orb. Okay. As you turn it's effective against the Obstagoon because he's dark. So do I want to U-turn into Obstagoon? And then I don't even need Tailwind anymore. Because both my mons are faster. This should be good. This could be good right here. No, Thunder Wave, though. That, that definitely stops a lot of things. Please tell me I go faster. And tell me I don't miss. Dazzling Gleam. No, no. Dazzling Gleam, I needed you. Who do you kill? No! Oh my goodness, dude. I could not have had a... Uh, no matter who this is, I think I lose here. There's literally no way I can win this, right? Man! I need, to, I need to figure out something. What happened in this game? Yep. Dang it, dude. What happened in this game that I lost so heavily? What happened in this game that made me lose? The Dynamax was... I feel like the Dynamax was, like, fine, right? Maybe it was the Dynamax. Maybe I didn't even need a Dynamax against his Braviary. I could have saved it for something else. He just said GG. I'll hit him with the GG back. Maybe it was because I didn't really need a Dynamax against the Braviary. I just really thought I was going to hit it harder. My Rotom Heat isn't, is it not as good as I would like want it to be? My Wismacot, the only problem with my Wismacot is he only, is pretty much only good to set up Tailwinds. But he does have Energy Ball and Dazzling Gleam, which are both nice. Energy Ball is really good against Gastro. I feel like one of my problems is my Rotom Heat isn't as bulky as I thought he was. And I don't know. Excuse me, I don't know why I thought he was bulky, but he's, like, not bulky. He's not a bulky boy. His Corviknight's bulky boy. Huh. I'm gonna do some thinking, but, unfortunately, another loss. That is why this is called the Beginner's Pokemon League. If I'm gonna message Shima. If he has any links he wants me to put in the description of this video, I will do that. But otherwise, thank you guys for stopping by. Guys, I got to start winning, okay? We got, this is week three. We have five more weeks. So I'll be two and, no, wait, this is week three. So I'll be one and, one and, f one and three or one and four, because I know the first week I had two matches. So not looking good. Technically, I haven't even won a game yet, because my only game win was from a forfeit. But if I can win these next five weeks in a row, I got to pull out something. And I'm going to I'm gonna work on it. I got a whole week to work on it. So we'll see what I can do. Thank you guys for stopping by. And be prepared to watch out for some, some movie, or movies, some t videos with Tig and I. See you guys later.